friends welcome back to my channel reading and retail hope everybody is having a great night i just wanted to jump on and talk about a book that i just finished dean coots TikTok. i've been wanting to read this for so long so finally i just two days ago opened it up and said you know what i'm gonna read it i finished it in two days so what does that tell you what made me want to read this for so long is the cover. Everybody that follows me knows I'm a sucker for good covers. And I rarely, if ever, read the synopsis on the back. Before I read this, I did not read the back. And I'm glad I didn't. I went in totally blind and I loved every second of it. So this story is about an author. His name is Tommy. He writes detective novels. He's probably middle age. He's doing great in his career. Um, he's very proud of himself. He went out and bought a brand new sports car. He's living well and he's super excited about it. So he calls up his mother. She's Vietnamese. And he tells his mom, hey, I just bought a sports car. Well, his mom is really old fashioned. His mom believes that he should be working with the family in the bakery. He shouldn't be far away from home. She calls them silly detective stories. She tells him that it's a waste of money that she he bought the sports car. And he went from feeling so super excited about his life to pretty much like crap. And she's like, you know, come home tonight, eat dinner. She prepared chicken, rice, and pretty much regular Vietnamese food. And he's like, no, I'm on my way home. I'm driving my sports car. He just bought it, just drove it off the lot. So he was excited. So she pretty much made him feel bad. So um, she was telling him, you know, you, you think you're a big shot now and He's just feeling really down in the dumps. He was like, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop by a diner, get me something to eat. Then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna work on my novel. So he goes to this little diner and he orders all the food his mother always tells him not to order because she's always on him. You know, don't be eating cheeseburgers and fries and eating all that garbage. So he goes into this little restaurant and he orders all that. He orders two cheeseburgers, fries, onion rings, chocolate shakes. And he just tells the waitress, you know, give it all to me. So he tells the waitress, um, her name is Del. It's short. It's a nickname. Um, that he just bought this sports car and he's all excited about it. And she's the typical blonde hair, blue eye, everything that his mother hates. His mother is like, you know, you'd break my heart if you bring home a blonde haired lady, marry nice Vietnamese woman, make me grandbabies, make me proud. So he's in there. He's a little flirty, but he doesn't pursue anything. He pretty much you know, tells Dell, I bought this car. He's so excited. They share little, swap little stories back and forth. He leaves the restaurant and he goes home. Well, when he gets home, he sees this doll on his porch. Now, on this doll's hand is pinned a note. So he takes the doll in the house. He looks at it. It's pretty much just, just like this filled with sand, he pulls the note off. Now the note is written in Vietnamese and he cannot read Vietnamese. So he calls his coworker and asks his coworker, can he get it translated? So they're trying to get this note translated. Well, he leaves the doll downstairs and he props the doll up, up against the lamp while he goes upstairs and makes his call. When he goes back downstairs, the doll is slumped over. And he was like, I didn't leave the doll like that. That's weird. So maybe he thought maybe just the sand shifted. So he picks the doll up and he takes it upstairs to his office. Now he's already kind of a little freaking out about it because it just looks creepy because it's got stitches for her eyes, stitches for the mouth, stitches where the heart goes. So it kind of creeps him out a little bit. So he leaves the room to get something and he comes back 
and the doll is now on the floor and the pin that was on the table beside him has fell onto the floor and he couldn't find it. We picks it back up and he lays it down and he notices on his computer screen, it once was blank, but now it says, um, your deadline is dawn. And so now he's really freaking out. He's like, how in the world is there something on my screen? So he doesn't think nothing of it. He leaves the room to do something else and he comes back and now the screen says TikTok on it, just like this, TikTok. So he's looking and he's kind of just like, okay, I'm imagining things. And the next thing you know, he hears this pop. Well, he looks down at the doll and the eyes are popping out. And he's like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have ate all that junk food because now I'm hallucinating. Now I think this doll is, no, this cannot be happening. So the beginning of this story, he's dealing with this doll. So now the next thing he knows, the, um, the mouth, all the stitches pop out and it opens up and something comes out of it. And it's described to be half reptile, half insect. So it's a whole thing. This is just the beginning of the book. So like now this devil thing is coming out to attack him. And I'm pretty much gonna stop right here because you can't go too far into this book without doing spoilers. But I love this. This is a mashup between romance, horror, basic thriller, and there's fantasy entwined in here as well. But this, if you have not read it, pick it up and read it. I don't wanna to go too deep into it because it is so action-packed. If I could read this in two days, I'm pretty sure people out there will probably read it in one or two days. So if you, and I'm not gonna read the synopsis because on the back, now that I see what's on the back, it's too detailed on the back. You don't want to, if, if you don't want to spoil it, do not read the synopsis. Pick it up, read it, go in blind is my recommendation. Now, I gave this a four star and let me tell you why. In this book, I find it to be too wordy. And for me, when I say too wordy, sometimes it rambles and just puts in big word, big word, big word, big word. And you're like, you know, I could do without all that. that I don't care about all that. But above and beyond that, it would be a five star for me. So I love this. So that's just my little opinion on TikTok. If you've ever read this, leave me a comment. I would love to know if you liked it or if you, it was okay to you, if you hated it, just whatever your preference is. Okay, guys. So I thought I'd come on camera tonight because I'm feeling just a little bit better and I wanted to talk about this while it was still fresh on my mind because I finished this at two o'clock this morning. I woke up and I didn't feel good. So I said, you know what? I'm going to read the rest of my book. And I finished this at probably between two and three o'clock this morning. So yeah, that was a whole thing and a whole mess right there. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you sticking around with me. If you've made it this far, throw me a like. I would appreciate it. Be safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.